Hi, my name is Yanni, and today I'll be showing you how to edit a PDF using Adobe Acrobat on the web and mobile. Adobe Acrobat streamlines the process for you whilst keeping your documents safe and secure. So let's jump in. I'll start with editing a PDF online. First, you'll need to go to the Adobe Acrobat website following the link in the description. You have the option of clicking the Select a File button and uploading your PDF, or simply dragging and dropping it onto the screen. I've got this Accounting Services Agreement PDF to edit today, which I'm going to drag and drop like so. You'll have to wait a few seconds for the file to upload. And there we go. This is also where you'll need to sign up for a free Adobe Acrobat account if you don't have one already. Let me log in so we can get to work. Right, let's edit our PDF. As you can see, there are several edit options available here on the left. You can add comments, highlight text, draw freehand, add in new text, add your signature, and more. I'll start by adding a comment, as I'm not sure that this is the correct date. When I select it, you'll see I've got two options. The first adds a comment down the right-hand side that everyone with access to the document can see. The second option adds the comment onto the PDF itself, like this. Two new buttons have appeared under our edit options, so you can change the text color and text size. I'll move down to highlighting text, and again, we've got a few options. You can highlight, underline, or strike through, and we can change the color here. I'm going to strike through tax preparation, as that shouldn't be included in this document. The freehand option allows you to draw anywhere on the PDF. Now I've selected that, you'll see extra buttons have appeared again on the left. They let me erase my work and adjust the line thickness, as well as change the pen color. I'll pick a color that easily stands out and circle tax planning. The text option allows you to write on the PDF as well as add extra symbols. I'm going to add a tick inside the tax planning circle, so it's obvious that's what I want included instead. And the final option is to add your signature or initials. Check out our previous video that shows you how to do that. The link is in the description. Once you're happy with your final doc, you can share your PDF via a link up here in the top right corner, as well as download and print it. And that's how you edit your PDF on your computer. Next, let me show you the mobile app. You have all the same editing features on the Adobe Acrobat Reader app, but this time, I'm going to be editing this construction bid proposal. To get started, click the blue circle in the bottom right and select Edit PDF, and you've got loads of options of where to upload your doc from. Along the bottom here, you'll find the same options as you do on desktop. You can add a comment by clicking on the doc and typing it out. Let me add a comment here to ask about the number of days, as three seems a bit short to me. To highlight text, you hold and drag your finger over the text you want to highlight like this. You can see the options at the bottom to underline or strike through as well. Next, there's freehand draw and add your own text to the PDF. Just select the option and get drawing or writing. And finally, fill and sign to add your signature or initials. You also have the option to place symbols, like check marks or dots, onto your document. Once you're ready, you click the share icon up here in the top right corner. You have the option of sending it via email by adding an address, subject line, and message. Or you can generate a shareable link. You also have the ability to set response deadlines for a PDF. Click the cog icon and it will take you to the advanced settings option where you can set a date. Once you're finished, your PDF will be easily accessible in the Adobe Acrobat app, so you have it to hand wherever you go. And there we have it, how to edit a PDF on desktop and mobile with Adobe Acrobat. If you like this tutorial, like and subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. If you know someone who could use this tutorial, don't forget to share it with them so we can make everyone's lives that little bit easier. See you later.